Hi everyone, it's Lisa here for Honey Bee Stamps. Thanks for joining me for another card video. I'm sharing three quick and simple baby cards with you. I'm going to show you how to use stencils to create a fun background to spotlight these adorable images. I'm jumping straight into this by placing a piece of half inch purple tape across the center of a four inch by five and a quarter inch card panel. Now you're going to see me do this with all three of the card panels. Once I have the tape in place, I'm going to center the spotlight oval stencil on the panel so I can start stenciling. So I'm going to start with the Chevron Aero stencil and Memento London Fog ink. I'm only applying the ink to the top part of the card panel. So I'm going to start on that oval stencil there and work my way off. I want this to be really soft since this is a baby card. I'm going to go ahead now and come in with the flower builder background stencil. I'm starting with the petals first and I'm going to use Memento cantaloupe ink for the flowers. And then I'm going to replace that pet, the petals stencil with the flower center stencil. And I'm going to use the London fog ink to go ahead and stencil the centers for the flowers. So here's the finished background. I love the way this looks with these adorable little bees. Now the bees I have had colored up from something else. So I decided I would go ahead and use them in this video. Now I have a strip, a half inch wide strip of black cardstock, and I'm just cutting small pieces to fill in that area between the stenciled areas where we had laid that purple tape down. And there, look how cute that is. I just use a little bit of liquid adhesive to apply that black cardstock to that panel. So I'm going to go ahead now and stamp my sentiment. Let's celebrate the mommy to be. I'm using Versafine Onyx Black ink and I'm going straight to the panel with this. Once we're done stamping the sentiment, we're going to go ahead and put some liquid adhesive to the back of the panel and center it up on a gray four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base some mounting foam to the back of those cute little bees and then center those up on our card. Now you could use this as a card or an invitation to a shower. So cute. So I'm repeating that same process to create the other cards that I'm making here. I'm just going to go ahead and stencil the backgrounds first. So I'm going to start with the Chevron Arrows and Fluttering Heart Stencil. I used London Fog ink and Pistachio ink for this first panel. For this panel, I used the Chevron Arrows and the Fluttering Heart Stencil. And I used Desert Sand ink and Cantaloupe ink. Now I went ahead and I stamped the giraffes and elephants from the Safari Baby stamp set onto smooth cardstock and I used Memento Tuxedo Black ink for that. I'm going to keep the coloring very simple with the images. I'm starting with Y21 and I'm laying down a thin line along the back and the legs. So I'm going to use my blender pen along with the Y21 to blend this color out. Remember, I'm aiming for a very soft look for this card. I'll go back in one more time and darken up along the back and the legs with that Y21. Now, once I'm done with the Y21, I'm gonna come in with E31 to the spots and I decide to uh, add a little bit of the E33 and I'm going to do the tip to tip technique and this time I'm actually going to use the E31 to pick up some of that E33 onto the nib and then color the spots in. And because these are the same color but just a few shades difference it will not hurt your nib. So our 30 to the cheek and then I go ahead and blend that out some with my blender pen. I'm going to use C9 on their little hooves to finish this image off. So 
So for the elephants, again, very simple coloring. I didn't do anything fancy with these. I'm gonna use C1 to color the entire elephant. And then I'm gonna follow that with C3 to add a little bit of shading. I'm gonna come in with R01 to the cheek area and to the ears, and then I'm gonna blend that out with R00, and then we're done. So just like the first card, I stamped the sentiment straight to the card panel, liquid adhesive to the back of the panel, and added it to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. I added mounting foam to the elephants and adhered them to the card. Now I'm gonna stamp a few hearts around the elephants to fill in a little bit of that empty space. I did add some black cardstock to fill in that void where we have laid down the adhesive to separate our stenciled areas, just like I did on the little bumblebee card. Now on the giraffe card, I do things a little bit different and I'm going to talk about that. So for the giraffe card, I decided not to add any cardstock in our voided area there. I left it white and then I went ahead and added mounting foam to the back of the giraffes. I stamped the sentiment from the Safari Baby Stamp Set and used the coordinating die to cut that out, added mounting foam to the back of it, and went ahead and placed it below the giraffes. So I just finished these off with a few enamel dots and that's going to bring us to the end of this video. So I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope you'll click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new content to the channel. Now for more information about the products used, head over to the Honeybee Stamp website and I hope you have an amazing day.